live from Washington, D.C., it's theCUBE, covering Boomi World 19. Brought to you by Boomi. Welcome to theCUBE. I'm Lisa Martin at Boomi World 2019 in Washington, D.C. Been here all day, had some great conversations. One of my favorite things about Boomi is how impactful they are making their customers. And I'm very pleased to welcome the CIO of American Cancer Society, Kenny Oxler. Kenny, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, happy to be here. Really enjoyed your keynote this morning on stage with Chris McNabb. You know, the American Cancer Society is one of those organizations I think that that impacts every single person on this planet. In, in some way or another, we've all been touched by cancer. And it's so, it's so interesting to, to look at it as, how is technology fueling the American Cancer Society? Your CIO, talk to us a little bit about what you guys are doing with Boomi, how Boomi is really helping you guys to integrate all these different systems so that an agency as old and historic as ACS is, is really transforming to be a modern kind of cloud-driven organization. Yeah, I think all organizations now are becoming IT organizations, it's their heart, and, and it's important for us at the American Cancer Society to interact with our constituents, our volunteers, our patients, our staff, right, in a digital way. So it's, it's critically important that we are right there with everybody else, uh, uh, interacting with them, and, and uh, so whether they're on the go and doing it on their mobile phone, or you know, at the doctor's office, uh, talking with their doctor about treatment options, that we're there to help them, get them uh, what they need and information uh, for, for their best chance to beat the, beat the disease. So talk to me first about the business transformation that the American Cancer Society went through before your time there, but first it was we have all these different organizations, yep. different leadership, different IT infrastructure, different financial operations model. Talk to us about first, how did it transform from a business like process perspective and then start looking at digital transformation? So some of it happened at the same time. The organization made the decision uh, back in about 2012 to consolidate uh, their organizations. We were, we kind of run, ran regionally at the time, and uh, each independent different region, there were 13 different regions, uh, kind of ran independently with their own IT systems. There were some shared technologies that we had, uh, but the organization starting in about 2012 decided that no, we wanted to centralize our model and come together. Uh, we thought it was a more efficient uh, manner and, and allowed us, in essence, to do more for our mission, uh, which is the ultimate goal. So there was a lot of consolidation around people and organization. Uh, some of the processes, I will say, got, got consolidated. Some are still going through some of that transformation. So um, after we kind of came, brought the organizations together and, and some of the people together, we kind of looked at, well, where are we uh, with our technology and how do we move forward into the 21st century and do that effectively? And so at the time, we did uh, kind of an analysis of our current state. As I mentioned in the keynote, we had a lot of technologies that were just older, had kind of run their course or end of life or just become that, you know, over, over a decade of, of changes, it just become monstrous yeah. behemoth or, uh, systems that we were really struggling to keep up, right? Both in terms of change and, and enhancement and delivering those capabilities back to our constituents. So we decided that no, it's time for us to move to uh, uh, a new and, and tra uh, technology modernization effort. And uh, we really wanted to be on the, the cloud first uh, strategy. So we were looking at our cloud vendors and, and, and everything else. And one of the big selections was is we chose Salesforce as our CRM platform. We chose NetSuite as our financial ERP platform. That way we could consolidate all those. And then as a part of that, we were looking at all of the leftover processes that weren't standardized, that we were still doing differently, that we could simplify. So taking stuff from 21 steps down to six steps, if we could, you know, et cetera, and bringing that along with the transformation just to create more efficiencies for us. And then at the end of the day, driving a better end user experience, whether you're a volunteer, you're a staff, you're a patient, et cetera. So a tremendous amount of data just in a CRM like Salesforce yep. and Oracle NetSuite. What was the thought and the opportunity to actually put an integration platform 
to enable that data to be shared between the applications and enable whether it's providers or as you said, volunteers, and we'll talk about that in a second, to be able to have an experience that allows them to get whatever it is that they're looking for. Talk to us about integration as sort of that driving kind of hub, centralized hub aspect. Yeah, I mean with any business, data is key. And um, historically, we had uh, our data was was spread out across multiple systems, but then didn't always uh, sync up. So you'd have you know you'd pull a report out of one system and say something different than when you looked at another system. So one of the key foundational tenets with the transformation was is we wanted our data to be in sync. We wanted to be able to see the same things no matter where you were looking at. That way we we were all looking at the same information and basically a single source of truth. Yes. And Boomi was a a critical component of that, right? With their integration platform, they were going to be our integration hub that is going to keep everything in sync. So we knew we had over, uh, well we had 120 applications that ultimately were a part of it. Uh, there were probably 20 major ones that had most of our data in there. Okay. And then Boomi is integrating all of those. So uh, when information's coming across, whether it's coming in from a, a donation made or an event participant or a patient referral form, all of that data comes in, comes in through Boomi and it is propagated and orchestrated across the systems as it needs to be to make sure that it has all of the, the right information in it, that the data is as clean as we can make it and, uh, and and it's all in sync at the end of the day. That's critical, having the data is great, but if you actually can't utilize them and extract values from it, yep. it's, I don't want to say worthless, but it's clearly the, the value in there, you know it's Makes it there. a lot harder to make good business decisions without good data. Right, and when we're talking about something like patients dealing with, with very, very scary situations, being yeah. able to, whether it's matching a volunteer with a, a mentor with a, a patient yes. who's going through something similar, that can be game changing in lives and really kind of propagate. Talk to me about this service match that you guys have built with Boomi. I think it's such a great service that you guys are delivering. Tell us about that, what it's enabling. So ServiceMatch is an application that is part of our road to recovery program where we provide rides for cancer patients to and from cancer treatment. So often when you're getting chemotherapy, driving after chemotherapy is not an option. And uh, a lot of the patients have trouble with uh, caregivers and family always helping them. So the American Cancer Society provides this program uh, to provide those rides free of charge for cancer patients and the service match application is about connecting those patients to volunteers for the rides. So if, if a patient calls in, they say, hey, I need a ride, this is what time I'm going, et cetera, they can do that now online as well. And we can connect them with a volunteer. So then that goes out to our volunteer community and somebody can say, I can do that, I can help this person out, connects them up so that they can get to their treatments on time. That's so fantastic and such a, impact that you guys can make. Is it something where you guys are integrating on the back end with like a ride share service or are these just folks like, hey, I've got a car that seats five, I want to help. Is it is it, it available to it, anybody? It is, it is available to anybody, anybody can volunteer and, and most of the rides are handled via volunteers. If we cannot find a volunteer, we have a lot of great partners that work with the American Cancer Society that can provide those ride share opportunities. So we'll make it happen and, and, and get the patient to their treatment. So talk to me about the ability to do that, that's a one great application of what you guys are doing with Boomi. What was the actual build of that application? How long did it take to be able to say, hey, we have this idea, if we can connect these systems, we can facilitate something that's critical yes. in the care of a, of a patient. What was that kind of build and implementation like? Because Boomi talks a lot about time to value, and we've talked about that a lot today, so talk to me about it through that lens. Yeah, so for us, we started, we were all on spreadsheets, right, and, and paper, and it was, yeah. Yeah, so, so it was not long ago, right? So I, it was about a 12 month process to actually build some of the, uh, the the service match application itself. The Boomi implementation came in as part of our transformation to make sure that all of the systems were integrated with that. So as people are requesting rides, or whether that's through the call center or going through the website, that that information is there, that they can help patients with it, so if they need to change the 
schedule or do something different, that those all take place and that everybody has the latest information. It also enables us, as, we're, as changes are happening or even the rides are taking place, notifications are going back out and back and forth so that everybody's up to date on all of the activity that's taking place. And to date, you guys have helped with Service Match alone nearly 30,000 patients. Yeah, we, we service, I think it's 30,000 patients a year wow. on, the, on the platform. Uh, we, uh, over 500,000 rides have been delivered since its inception. And, the, and when was that inception? I'd have to look at the date, I don't Just remember. Just a couple years ago or in the last no, few? No, it's, it's, it's probably been about over a decade now. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. So another thing I'm curious, for volunteers who want to do, um, to raise funds to support the American Cancer Society, is integration kind of a central component? You're smiling, so I think the answer is <laughs> yes. I think I know the answer. Talk to us about how um, Boomi is helping ACS to deliver you know, a more seamless, a better fundraising experience for anybody that wants to actually go out and do that. Yeah, so we have a lot of donation processing systems uh, that, that, that we leverage as part of the American Cancer Society because part of what we want to do is make it easy for people to raise money and raise it in their way, right? So we have multiple systems, both from all the events that we do, whether it's the Relay for Lives or the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, which are two of our major event platforms, but we also have Raise Your Way platforms. So if you want to do it yourself and you want to host a wine fundraiser with your friends, and raise some money, we can absolutely help you do that as well. And what we do is we take all that information from all of that, that uh, from those events and then bring that into the system so that we know what happened when, who you were, so we can properly thank you. You can also get your tax credits and, <laughs> and all of the other things that go along with it, so. That's awesome. So I want to ask you from a CIO's perspective, Boomi being a a, a single instance, multi-tenant cloud application delivered as a service. To you and your previous role before you came to the American Cancer Society was insurance. Talk to me about that as a differentiator. What is that as ACS continues to scale and offer more programs and have more data to integrate? Boomi's architecture, in your perspective, is that something that gives the ACS really a leg up to be able to do more and more? Absolutely, I think Boomi's low code development strategy is, is a differentiator for anybody that's using the platform. It, we have been able to deliver more integrations in a shorter amount of time with our transformation than I've done in the past with other integration platforms or just developing it, I'll say the old fashioned way, with Java or, or C Sharp. So um, I think I think as an integration platform, it, it's, it's a real game changer in terms of what enterprises can do in terms of delivering uh, faster and with more stability and, and performance um, than, than in the past. Which is critical for many businesses, but obviously yours included. But to also take a look back at your previous role in a different industry, how is the role of the CIO changing in your perspective as things are moving to the cloud, but there's the explosion of edge and this consumerized implementation, right, or, or influence, because as consumers yes. we have access to everything and we want to be able to transact anything, whether it's you know signing up to be a volunteer or an actual patient needing to have access to records or a ride, how, how is that consumerization effect changing the role of the CIO and, and opening up more opportunities? Yeah, that's a big question. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the role of the CIO is changing significantly in terms of they are required to be more of a business leader or as much as a business leader as, as any of the other C-suite uh, executives and it is just as critical for them to understand the business, where it's going, be a part of the strategy with it, and, and help drive from that perspective. The consumerization component is actually, in some ways, I think making the CIO and the IT job a little bit harder. There's, um, there's a lot that goes into making sure that what we're doing is secure uh, and performs well. Um, and sometimes just the, 
the overall consumerization of technology, it, it looks so easy sometimes, and sometimes it's easy to underestimate some of the uh, complex nature of what we're doing and the level of security that needs to be applied to make sure that we're protecting our constituents and making sure that their data is safe and secure. How does Boomi help facilitate that? Because you're right, we talk about security all the time in any industry. How is what you're doing with Boomi giving you maybe that peace of mind or, or the confidence that what's being moved around as data and applications migrate that you've got a secure, safe environment for that data? Yeah, I think Boomi does a lot, uh, several things. First off, they've got a lot of security certifications as a part of their program. They make it relatively easy to to leverage that. They allow us to deploy the 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 atoms where we need to. So whether that's on prem or in our own tenants behind our firewalls, all of those things will allow us to deploy it in whatever method we feel is most secure based on the the data that we're trying to move. Excellent, well Kenny, it's been a pleasure having you on theCUBE. Just really quickly, where can we go if we want to become a volunteer to, to help patients? Cancer.org. Cancer.org, awesome. Kenny, it's been a pleasure, thank you yes. so much. Thank you. Congratulations on the massive impact that ACS is making, not just with Boomi, but in the lives of many, many people. We appreciate your time. We're very excited and happy we can help. All right. I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE from Boomi World 2019. Thanks for watching.